Hi folks, I'm Steve the Hurricane, and this is A Drink with the Hurricane. Cheers. So for today's episode of A Drink with the Hurricane, we're gonna continue with our social worker training that is going to be part of the Hurricane Marketing Bootcamp 2.0 this February. I hope you're signed up for it because it is an amazing training where I actually interviewed two social workers and they give a tell all as to why they refer the vendors they do, how they wish to be approached, how they wish to be treated and so on. You just cannot miss this training. For today's segment of it, we're gonna talk about those ever important first time visits. For a first time visit, one of the things that they both discussed in detail was that they want people to be mindful of their time. They don't like when people just, they want people to be mindful of their time. They don't like when people just show up they don't like when people come in and, and, and try to oversell and over push on a first visit. It, it's something that rubs them the wrong way and it actually leaves a lasting impression. So if somebody does this on a first time visit, when that person shows up a second time, they're going to duck and hide from the person or they may be very confrontational and kind of escort you out of the building. So your first time visit, it makes a lasting impression. Make sure that you're mindful of their time. The second part of it, with this particular topic is to be respectful towards them. I, I've said this before and I'll just continue to say it, social workers are the most overworked, undercompensated, underappreciated, skilled position in all of healthcare. The reason why I say that is because it's true. Many social workers carry multiple caseloads beyond what they're supposed to, which could get places in trouble, but let's be honest, people don't wanna have to pay extra for social work, so they tend to be one of the most under, uh, overutilized, underfunded departments in all of healthcare. So as a result, they're constantly getting things thrown at them. When we show up and we start begging for referrals, asking for referrals, insisting on things, even sometimes vendors have, have overstepped their boundaries boundaries and been very forceful and negative towards social workers, that doesn't make them want to refer you. If you can't respect a social worker, how can you expect them to trust you to respect a patient or a client? So make sure that you're very respectful to them and you respect the time that they have, which is very, very limited. Get to the point. And the third thing that the social workers mentioned in the video training is making an appointment. Now I know this is very difficult. We're all trying to make appointments with social workers, but at the training in the boot camp, we're gonna spend a lot of time, 90 minutes dissecting this, and we're gonna go over exactly how to properly set an appointment. But they're asking us to make an appointment for a reason. Now, to say that I am a home care company in the area, that's not a good enough reason. You have to be very, very specific. I am a expert in dementia care, or I am an expert in live-in care, or something is a good reason or a better reason than just I'm a home care company. I'm new to the area, I wanted to learn more about what you do. We, we, I did some research and I understand that your, your, your facility has trouble with these type of discharges, I'm here to help you with it. Something specific to get that appointment will help you with it. And again, we're gonna go over many details, many reasons at the boot camp. but make sure that you're doing whatever you can to try and set an appointment to meet them. And then when you do, you actually have a purpose to be there besides we're a home care provider in the area because that's just not enough. So there you have it, folks. That's the tips for this week. Make sure you execute these on your first time visits and if you haven't registered for the Hurricane Marketing Bootcamp, do not wait, register now. This event is going to sell, We've, we sell them all out. More people come every single time. Don't miss this training once a year. We do this once a year, that's it. Your business cannot afford to miss this training. I'll see you in Phoenix.